Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a set X, capital X, right? And we have two matrix D and D star, both are defined on X. So F and F star denote families of D and D star open sets. That means in a matrix space XD, we will have some open sets. F denote, denotes family of over D open sets, getting? And in a matrix space X D star, we will have some open sets and F star denotes the family of D star open sets, getting? And what is the given information? The given information is D and D star are equivalent matrix. And what we have to prove? We have to prove two things. So out of these two, I have written one here, okay? So let us prove first part, this one. And after that, we will go for the second part. Let us start with the given information. So D and D star are equivalent matrix. So let me mention here, we have D and D star are equivalent matrix okay so these are equivalent matrix so you know that when two matrix are equivalent then we say the family of d open sets is equal to family of d star open sets so here d and d star are equivalent matrix so therefore we have f is equal to f star that means family of d open sets is equal to family of d star open sets i am calling it as one See what we have to prove, we have to prove the, that for each open set G in F. Let me mention let. So that means G is any open set in F, okay? And uh, for each X in G, and we have a one point X in G. And we have to prove that there exists D star open ball, B star X R star subset of G. This thing we have to prove, okay? So what we have X uh, G belongs to F. But see if one says F is equal to F star, let me mention but f is equal to f star x uh, sorry g is in f and f is equal to f star so therefore we can say g is in f star so let me mention that thing here okay so we have some space let us use so therefore uh, g belongs to f star right but what is meaning of f star f star is a family of d star open sets and g belongs to f star so therefore we can say G is D star open set. Let me mention. So therefore, G is D star open set. Okay. So uh, F star is a family of D star open set. So that's why we can write it. See one more information we have that is X belongs to G. And let me mention and X belongs to G. So you are familiar with the open set. What is definition of open set? A set is said to be open if for any point in that set, it is possible to find ball around that uh, point, which is subset of that set. And here we have G's D star open set. So therefore, we can follow the definition of open set. So therefore, I can mention there exists a star greater than zero, a star that means radius, such that, such that, such that B star X R star, R star is a radius and I'm denoting it by B, B star, B star because it is a D star open set. So that's why we are denoting it by that open ball is denoting by star. So B star X R star subset of G. So in this way, we proved this thing. Okay. So the first part we have completed here. The proof is over here. Let us go for the second part, make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. Let us discuss the second part now. Okay, so let us see what is given in second part. In second part, they have mentioned for each open set G star in F star. Okay, so what we have? So yes, uh, we have we have G star belongs to F star. That means G star is D star open set. So that's why it belongs to family of D star open set F star. And we have one point x belongs to sorry x star belongs to g star this is a given information and we have to prove that there is d open ball getting b x star r subset of g star this thing we have to prove see we have g star belongs to f star but see we have one very important information that is d and d star are equivalent matrix therefore f is equal to f star from equation number one see but i should mention but f is equal to f star from one i should write the reason here from one. See, F is equal to F star, G star belongs to F star. So therefore, we can say G star belongs to F also. So therefore, G star belongs to F. 
बट यू नो दैट वॉट इज एफ एफ इज अ फैमिली ऑफ डी ओपन सेट्स जिस्टार बिलोंग्स टू एफ सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन से जिस्टार इज ऑल्सो डी ओपन सेट लेट मी मैंशन सो देअर फोर जिस्टार इज डी ओपन सेट ओके एंड वन थिंग वी शुड हैव दैट आई शुड मैंशन दैट थिंग हियर दैट इज एक्स स्टार बिलोंग्स टू जी स्टार सो यू आर फैमिली विथ ओपन सेट ओके ओपन सेट सो वेन वी से अ सेट इज ओपन If for any point in that set, it is possible to draw ball around that point, which is subset of that set. Then we say the set is open. So here we have G star is D open set. So we can follow the definition of open set. So therefore, I will mention. Therefore, there exists radius r greater than zero such that open ball. Okay, so it's D open ball. Getting it's a D open ball. So that's why I will not write star there. I will simply mention B. What is the center of that ball? X star. and what is its radius r which is subset of g star getting which is subset of g star so it is a d open set that's why i didn't write star there i simply mention b x star r subset of g star so in this way we prove the second part also so that means if d and d star are equivalent matrix very two important results we have proved right now okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye